good evening, good evening for those of you live with me on Spreaker and iHeartRadio as well as the Leadership TKO Station. Welcome to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. I'm Lakeisha McKnight and we are about to strike it live on Facebook. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Welcome to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. Welcome, welcome. Right now we should be live on the Facebook platform and I'm going to check my other devices here just to make sure we're good to go and that we are indeed live. Okay. So let me go ahead and check that out. Make sure we're good to go. It looks like we are. Hello. It's about 731 PM Eastern standard time on this Monday, September the 21st of 2020. I'm excited to be here with each and every one of you on this Monday. That's right. It is indeed a Monday here on the East Coast of the U.S. of A. I do know that there are many others who are tuning in uh, to this particular show. And so hello to those of you out there, Facebookers and everyone else that's plugged in. Welcome. We do this show every single night, unless God tells me otherwise, but every single night, okay, around 7, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so you're more than welcome to plug in and to tune in because our whole goal of this show really is to empower leaders like yourself with the ability to win from the inside out, growing your influence, your impact, and your income. Okay, those are the three areas of focus we have. And I always invite you all to plug in, set your alarm so you don't miss an episode, a session by which we, you and I, we can come together, we can converse, we can grow together because that's what the journey is all about. Not necessarily about the destination so much as it is really to focus on the journey, the in-between, the dash in between when you were born and when you exit. That in-between is everything. Okay, that in between is everything. All right. And so I just want to just thank each and every one of you for plugging in. I truly, truly, I respect your time. I thank you so very much. And so there are a couple of ways that you can be involved here during our time together. Number one, like or love the stream. If anything resonates with you, uh, if anything is really important that we touch on during this session, feel free to throw those hearts out there. Also, there's the comments feature. So you can comment below or nearby the podcast, depending on the platform that you're on. And lastly, you can share this particular stream out. And for those of you who are here on Facebook, you can do a watch party. Okay, that's, yep, you can share the video stream. You can do a watch party. Share it wherever you feel led to sharing it. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to practice what I preach, okay? I am going to definitely go here. I'm going to refresh my screen first and foremost. And then I'm going to share it out, of course, to some of my business partners out there. So let me go ahead and, of course, let them know that we're live and that they can come in on board with us on tonight. And I'm also going to share this onto my official page. Those of you that don't know, I have an official page that's named Lakeisha McKnight hyphen Think, Speak, Live Leadership. And you can follow me there as well if you choose to if you choose to. All right. And so I'm also going to share it to a group. I'm active in several groups on Facebook. I'm a Facebooker. I try to be productive with my time on Facebook. And so I'm going to definitely show show some value into the lives of a few great women out there. There are some women's groups that they're just doing some amazing things, uh, these ladies. And so I definitely want to sew back into their lives. All right. Perfect. Already done. Look at that. Shared it to a couple of places. That's massive action, guys. Just that quick. Just like that. And so here on the show, here on this particular show, what do we do? Well, at the very beginning, I provide you all with an appetizer, and it's normally some leadership content. I'm either sharing information from my network marketing mentor, Mr. Ty Best, or my leadership mentor, uh, Dr. John Maxwell, but on tonight and what I had been doing the last couple of nights have been really focusing in on why, why not this book right here? <laughs> That's right. Leadership TKO, 12 truths to implement, to become a winning leader. How many of you watching this stream, listening in by way of podcasts are ready to win? Like you just, I'm, you're, you got this mindset, like I want it. I have to have it right? You have to have it. If that's the mindset you have, you got to learn how to keep that mindset. And I'm telling you, this is going to help you get the mindset and keep that mindset. 
all right, on winning every day, winning the day. By the time you rise up in the morning, winning, okay? Mindset to win. Because when truth be told, the real battle is right here. The real battle is between both of your ears. That's where the battle is. As soon as you open your eyes, there it is, the battle starts. What are you going to do? Are you going to equip yourself? with, you know, really just putting some things into your mind to help your mind stay on that positive vibration? Or are you going to accept those other negative thoughts that try to infiltrate your mind? Okay, what are you going to own, the negative or the positive? So in this book, what I've been doing the last couple of days is giving you some nuggets from this book. Now you can go and you can learn more about this book project and the entire Leadership TKO brand by visiting the website leadershiptko.com. I encourage you, if you can, grab a copy or a few for your team. You will see a big difference in the way that your team does what they do. I'm telling you. But in this book, of course, there are several truths, about 12 of them. And I want to give you just a couple of nuggets from truth number four in the book. Now, truth number four in the book is all about conducting research and preparing your customers or your partners for change. How about that? <laughs> How about that? The book talks about change. Hmm. You see, the theme of this whole brand and the book comes from Rocky. Didn't Rocky experience a lot of change in his life? If you are a rock hard Die Hard, Rocky fan, if you've watched every Rocky series or movie in the series, you know, you understand exactly what I mean and what I'm talking about. He had, he endured some change, okay? Change of lifestyle. He had to change mindset. I mean, to face all of these different next level boxers, yeah, he had to definitely trans, transform himself through the renewing of his mind and how he was thinking. And in this book, we talk about the importance of doing that. The importance of considering going and doing your homework and knowing what it is that you need to know for the fight that you're about to endure. Uh -huh. The fight as far as making sure that your customers right, have what they need. Now, if you're an entrepreneur, you, you realize and you should know at this point the importance of doing your homework, of knowing certain things that you'll be able to share you know, to your partners or perhaps even better educate potential customers. Because you have to know how to solve the need that a customer, your target market, has. For example, I know I have a lot of wealth building, wealth building family members out there. What is our product? Think about your product as an entrepreneur. What is it? Our product is real money gold. That is the first, that's the foundational product we have. But we have other products because we have expanded into a few other industries like e-learning, okay, like robotics. Okay, we're talking about blockchain. These are some of the highest netted, meaning highest paid industries out of the eight. So listen, there are a total of eight. That's like the cannabis industry and some other industries out there that's really, yeah, they're doing, they're, it's lucrative. Okay, big data, all these other industries. But what I'm trying to say is that with the business that many of us have who are wealth builders, we're plugged into a resource that allows us to have a product that people need in four industries. People are always looking to enhance themselves. And do you know that, you know, the creator of our product, they're constantly going to be updating the product. For example, we have what we call a uh, Freebay Academy, right? An academy based on self-growth, personal development. It's going to be constantly updated, right? With brand new updated content so that you're offering this. You're not the creator. You're just the marketer. You're just the sower of the solution. People have a problem. They're trying to figure out, well, how can I solve my health concerns? Well, inside of the academy, there are, there's a solution for that. We have some strategies for that, some exercise, some dietary tips, all these things within the academy. But we didn't talk about the other solutions we have. How about those who may have a cash flow issue? Yeah, maybe you have more month at the end of your money. Well, with, of course, this resource, we give you different options. We got an affiliate program. We have a way for you to tap into something that doesn't require recruiting. You just exchange, right, some gold for a token that we have, and it will pay you and your family for life. Solutions. Do your homework, your research. We discovered as wealth builders 
that this amazing company based out of Switzerland is going to solve some major needs. We've done our homework. We have the solution. And that's what we have to do as winners. We have to be able to know how things are changing in our environment. Leaders stay one, two, perhaps even five steps ahead. And that's what this amazing company that we're plugged into for our for us wealth builders out there, they're staying ahead of the game. It's a very innovative company. And that's why we're sharing it with the masses that the solution is available. Personal development, financial, all of these things. You need residual income? Yes, we have it, right? Six streams. But anywho, you need to understand this. I like the prayer by St. Francis of Assisi. Listen, this is, the, this is a prayer attributed to St. Francis. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom always to tell the difference. There are some people in history who have, they're like change makers. They were on, they knew what was coming up. They stayed ahead of the trends, ahead of the times, and they were prepared for it. They went out there and they did what they had to do, despite, of course, you know, the things that arose against them that was going to really try to come against them in their endeavors. We have people such as Gandhi, right? We can talk about him for a while. How about Nelson Mandela? Man. Ooh, I can talk about Nessa Mandela for a minute, okay? That man endured some things, lost a lot of time, but he made up for it just from the, the time, the spans of time that we had him on earth. I'm telling you, amazing man, amazing man. And let us not forget Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I mean, his presence, his energy is still felt, even though he's he has been exited this particular, this earth. So understand something. There are people who they stood for what they stood for. They didn't back down. They knew what was going on and they went for it. They fought a good fight until the very end. Okay, until the very end. And so I just wanted to make note of these greats. And there are many others who are still alive today just doing some amazing things. And so you can be that person. You can be that leader that is aware of what's going on, providing an amazing solution, and continuing in, 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 in this particular endeavor, in this journey, until the very end. Don't give up. Stay in the race. That's what winners do. Winners never quit. As we often hear from my brother, Dante Teller, and quitters never win. They never win. So I wanted to share that with you. And if it resonated with you, go ahead and throw those hearts out there. Hopefully that encouraged and inspired you to want to plunge forward ahead so I'm going to give you a, a, another another nugget or two because we're elaborating on my distant mentor. He used to be a very close mentor of mine, his team, um, and that is uh, Robert Kiyosaki, The Business of the 21st Century. If you have not heard about this book, I, for all of you who are home-based business owners and you're building a network, like if you haven't heard of from, if you haven't heard about this book, I don't know. If you don't have it a part of your library, you need to. Go to Amazon, run and get it. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. A lot of these things, if you are a networker, you've been a networker for some time, you've probably heard of some of these things, but it serves as a reminder and it really helps you to think, okay? Now I'm gonna show you an image that's really the focus of chapter number four, okay? I'm gonna pull it up really quick. Here we go. It's a little small image, but nonetheless, you see what I'm talking about? Yes, the cash flow quadrant. But really, really what I wanna hone into tonight is some key financial values behind this quadrant, the values. And some people today, with all that's going on with this pandemic, is causing them to consider their values. It's causing them to reconsider the way they used to do things and the fact that it's not working any longer. There are some people who are in denial. They're like, no, 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 I don't want to do this. I don't want to step into that room. I don't want to deal with uh, cryptocurrency. I don't want to, whether you want to or not, it's happening. Okay, just like debit cards came on the scene, right? It happened. So cryptocurrency is here, okay? And it's not going anywhere for a while, okay? But this is the direction that we're heading in. Because here's the thing, you know, which quadrant you choose to earn, you know, earn your primary income, 
from has less to do really with external circumstances like where you went to school. There's a lot of you still dependent upon degrees. You're still dependent upon education. You're still dependent upon a lot of these different factors. But it really has a lot more to do with who you are at the core of your very being. Who you are at the core determines how you're going to make your money, right? So who you are at the core includes your strengths. It includes your challenges. It includes your central in your central interests, okay? Your central interest, and that's the reason why I'm showing you, for example, these quadrants here. Because listen, when you think about people who are employed, and there's nothing against those of you who are employed. That's just where you're making your income. You're exchanging hours for dollars. All right. You have no leverage, no leverage. Look at the percentage of wealth. If barely there, barely anything. Okay. See the amount of active work that you engage in your labor, right? The hours, the precious hours of your, the days of your life that you can't get back determines your income. So you're exchanging time for currency, not money, currency. Do you understand that you can't get the time back and currency is coming and going? That's why it's called currency. It doesn't stay. So whether you direct it somewhere, it depends on where you're directing it. It's going to go somewhere. It's going to end up in somebody, somebody's pocket. Okay. And that's not wealth. Wealth is based on how much you keep. Okay. It's based on how much you keep. So you might hear, you know, you might hear some people say this, look, I am looking for a safe, secure job with good pay and excellent benefits. These are people who have a core value of security. Security, that's their main value when it comes to being in the E quadrant or being an employee. Now, for those who are self-employed, you own a job. You don't have a job, but you own it. You have no no leverage here still. And a lot of the population finds themselves here. They go to school. They then go to graduate school because they feel like they want to be their own boss. And yes, you become a slave to yourself. You, of course, become a slave to your passion. Robert Kiyosaki says that S truly stands for slavery. He said S stands for slavery. Okay. You're still exchanging time for dollars. If you don't work, you're not bringing an income. You don't have a system. That's self-employed. You are the system. You are everything in what you do because you own a job. You might hear somebody say this. If you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. These are the type of people who are in this quadrant, the S quadrant right there. And so you got to be careful because, again, you're not going to build wealth necessarily there. Okay? If anything, you're going to experience burnout burnout because you're doing everything. Everything relies upon you. You don't have a break. If you break your business breaks or your income breaks, let's put it a better way. Your income breaks when you take a break. All right. And so if you're looking for freedom, everyone, if you're looking to be able to do what you want, when you want to do it, how you want to do it, despite the pandemic, there are people who are in, look, they, they've been in this pandemic and haven't been touched at all. Why? Because they are a part of the right side of the quadrant. They are business owners. They are investors. Business owners, they own a system. People work with them. This is why we call ourselves network. We are a net, we are a people connected, enhancing our worth. Come on, somebody. Network, who is growing and enhancing their net worth. And the more we become connected to greats like Mr. Ty Best, Mr. Michael Delco, Tammy Morrison, Cheryl Ann Gober, and so many other amazing people amongst the wealth builders, right? We are enhancing our net worth just from even the people we're affiliated with and also the actions that we engage in. Not just talking about it, but doing it. Not just plugging in with a free account, but taking action, putting something in it. All right, putting something in it. So again, your income does not depend on your on active work. It's based on, of course, the system generating, whether you're there or not. This is the business quadrant, the B quadrant. Now, those are part of the B quadrant. You might hear them say this, I'm looking for the best people to join my team. 
team. I looking for the best people to join the team, the system. Okay. Looking for people to plug into the system and run. For example, you know, my wealth building family, we've all connected because there was somebody looking for someone else to run as a team. And one person is not benefiting, but everyone is. It's not that somebody, there's always somebody making money off of someone. You're either being leveraged or you're creating leverage. Which one is it for you? Either you're being leveraged primarily on your job, okay? Or you're creating leverage by creating or tapping into a system that's already in place that's effective. And that's what business owners have. They have systems that are running, that they're plugged into, or that they've created, okay? So also, being an investor, let's talk about that for a quick second. You own investments. You have leverage. 5% of the population is here. Not a lot of people, okay? This is where you want to be if you want your money to work for you. You put that currency into an asset commodity and let it grow. Let it become protected, number one. Let it grow, number two. You want to put it in an asset that has no risk. And I'm going to tell you right now, God's money, gold, has no risk. It's a tier one asset. So I encourage you, if you know a wealth builder out there, someone shared this video with you tonight, I'm sharing it on my timeline or on a podcast platform. If you don't own gold, if you don't have gold in your possession, you are in danger of losing even the smallest value you have left with your currency. Again, it's currency. It's going to quickly be gone before you know it. You want to keep as much as you can. Wealth is about how much you keep. So how do you keep it? By protecting it putting your currency into an asset that protects it. And that's what gold does. Exchange some cash currency for gold. And it's really simple. You can start for as little as a little over $7 and exchange that for a tenth of a gram of what we call gold. And what we do, we call it life cards. And so you can get back with a wealth builder who's watching this. They'll help you do it. They'll help you get a free account help you begin to exchange some of that currency for gold, man, and you'll begin to even begin to generate passive income from what we have going on. You have the cash, exchange it for gold, and then you're soon going to be able to get a cryptocurrency that will be able to pay you and your family for life. My goodness, I got to stop right there. I can't even go any further. Please, look, plug in. I like what Tanisha Glassby says. Tanisha, shout out to you, hun, over there in Arizona. She said, either you plug into a system, you 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 plug in or you clock in. You're going to clock in on somebody's job that restricts your time. If you love your job, stay there. If you If you enjoy the time, the very little time that you have outside of your place of employment, that's you. But for those of you who are looking for better, you want to enjoy these years, not wait but you want to enjoy these years of your lives, every single moment of your life, plug into a system. And we have a system, free. I plugged into it a little over three years ago. And my husband did. We did we're doing this thing together. And so there are many others around the world plugged into this amazing system where we're accessing four out of eight of the highest paid. Did I say that? Four out of eight? Yes. Get plugged in, family. So listen, I'm so glad I had this opportunity to chat with you all tonight. Did you, if you got something from it, I'm telling you, drop those hearts. Okay, let me know what you enjoyed. Type it in below. I feel an affirmation coming on right now. For all of you who know for a fact that you are a billionaire, I'm not, let's skip over millionaire because you really need at a minimum 10 million to do what you need to do. Let's just, let's just talk, let's just think bigger, okay? That's what winners do. Go ahead and affirm, for those of you taking action, you're plugged into a system that's making money for you. Go ahead and affirm, I am a billionaire. You're watching this tonight. You're watching a replay of this. Go ahead and affirm verbally. Type it in the chat below. I am a billionaire. I am a billionaire. 
Absolutely. And you are a billionaire. We are billionaires because winners never quit and quitters never win. And I thank you so very much for plugging in. And if you want to learn more about what we do, we have a presentation going on tonight at nine o'clock PM Eastern standard time. Plug in. You want to download the zoom app and then go to www.goldrocks.info. You need the password. So make sure you inbox us someone for the password and we'll give it to you so you can join us on zoom find out about what we do become educated so i appreciate you all we'll be back for another episode here with the show tomorrow at 7 30 p.m and so until then i encourage each and every one of you to think to speak and to live leadership good night everyone and god bless <music>